welcome all the class 12 students who are going to watch this video so today i'm going to cover your chapter number six of histas that is on the face of it uh, by susan hill she's a british author and she has created numerous stories and plays and novels as well so before you read let's start from here this is a play featuring an old man and a small boy meeting in the farmer's garden. So, two characters hain. This is this old man and a small boy. Wo log, uh, milte hain. Unki ek story uh, banti hai, jisko ek play ke tarike se likha gaya hai. And Derry is the name of that boy. Mr. Lamb is the owner of the garden. And Derry is the owner of the garden. And the steps, footsteps are long uh, grass. Mein chal raha hai. And uh, he pauses, then walks on again. Rukta hai, phir chalta hai. He comes round a screen of bushes. Then he comes around a screen of bushes. उसमें आ जाता है और तब वहीं पर मिस्टर लैम जो है वो उससे बात करते हैं व्हेन ही इज क्लोज एट हैंड एंड डेरी इज स्टार्टल तो वो जैसे ही उनके पास पहुंचता है और बुशेस में होता है डेरी एकदम से हैरान हो जाता है कि ये कौन मुझसे बात कर रहा है तो सीन ये है और उनकी क्या बात होती है लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दैट सो दो ही कैरेक्टर्स आएंगे एज आई सेड बिल्कुल लास्ट में जाकर के देयर विल बी अ न्यू कैरेक्टर बट दैट वाज नॉट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन so, Mr. Lamb, all right, mind the apples, Derry, what, who's that, who's there? So, Mr. Lamb ne bola, dhyan se, vahan apples hain, Derry kehta hai, kon hai, kon, kon, uh, kon hai, kis hai? Mr. Lamb says, Lamb is my name, mind the apples, crab apples, those are, tum chal rahe ho, aur vahan par apples gire hoi hai, because of the Windfall. So, windfalls kya hote hai? Jab bhoat zor se hawa chalti hai, to trees se fruits kis jate hai, vegetables kis jate hai. So, crab apples, those are windfalls in the long grass. You could trip. Tum unke upar trip kar jauge, gir jauge, aur mere fruits kharaab ho jayenge. Derry says, I, there, I thought this was an empty place. I said this dialogue like this because you can see the way it is written is because of lot of dot, dot, dots. And usually when you play bhi padte ho, you must have noticed that you have to, uh, when you are, even when uh, the teacher, uh, you know, um, kind of assigns characters in the class, the teacher wants you to read with some actions and voice modulation. So, play me is tarike se panna important hai. But of course, in the video, we can't have characters. So, I'll try to read Derry's dialogues, which are more dramatic. So, Derry ke jo dialogues hai, wo zyada dramatic hai, wo pauses leta hai, aur uh, bahut soch ke bolta hai. Dheere dheere we will explore his character. So, I there, I thought this was an empty place. Mujhe laga hai, khali jaga hai. I didn't know there was anybody here. Mujhe nahi pata tha, yaha par koi hai. So, Derry ne ye bola. Now, Mr. Lamb, that's all right, I'm here. What are you afraid of, boy? That's all right. Now, he tries to comfort him. See, he, so, he says, that's okay, that's all right. Main hu yaha, aur tum rahe ho. Then, Derry said, I thought it was empty, an empty house. So, Derry said, I thought it was a empty house. And he was saying this very bad thing about him. Now, Mr. Lamb says, so it is. Since I'm out here in the garden, it is empty. Until I go back inside, in the meantime, I'm out here and likely to stop. A day like this, beautiful day. Not a day to be indoors. So, he said, ki haan, ghar to khali hai. Kyunki main apne ghar se bahar hoon, garden mein. And, uh, ye ghar bilkul khali hai. Jab tak main wapis nahi jata. 
एंड ही सेट जब तक मैं वापस नहीं जा रहा हूँ इन द मेन टाइम मैं यही हूँ बाहर गार्डन में और यहीं रुकूंगा अभी और इतना ब्यूटीफुल दिन है अंदर रहने का कोई फायदा भी नहीं है इट इज नॉट टू नॉट अ डे टू बी इंडोर्स एंड आई एम एंजॉइंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल डे तो डेरी जो हो जाता है डेरी जो है वो पैनिक कर जाता है एकदम से सो इन इस डायलॉग वी सी पैनिक हिज रिएक्शन इज दिस आई हैव गॉट टू गो वो एकदम से घबरा जाता है और कहता है कि मुझे जाना है मिस्टर लैम से इज नॉट ऑन माई अकाउंट आई डोंट माइंड हु कम्स इन टू द गार्डन द गेट्स ऑलवेज ओपन ओनली यू क्लाइम द गार्डन वॉल्ड इफ यू विश टू डू इट डू इट नथिंग फॉर मी इट्स यूर कॉल सो लाइक दैट सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ using this phrase by this phrase not on my account uh, mr lam means to say that if you please you can do that i don't mind who comes into the garden wo keh raha hai mujhe koi bhi farak nahi padta ki kaun garden mein aaye kaun nahi i am completely okay with because this garden is open for everybody ye gate hamesha khula hai only you climb the garden wall and maine nahi kaha tha tumko tum khud apni marzi se aaye ho aur tumne hi garden wall mein step in kara hai तो डेरी जो है वो एंग्री हो जाता है एंड ही सेज यू आर वॉचिंग मी इसका मतलब तुम मुझे देख रहे थे सो मिस्टर लैम सेज आई सो यू बट द गेट्स ओपन ऑल वेलकम यू आर वेलकम आई सेट योर आई लाइक सेटिंग एंड ही सेट हाँ मैंने तुम्हें देखा था बट गेट खुला है मैं तो सबका वेलकम करता हूँ इसलिए मैं तुम्हारा भी वेलकम कर रहा हूँ मुझे यहाँ बैठना अच्छा लगता है और मैं यहाँ बैठा हुआ था वेन आई वॉज सींग यू कमिंग इन साइड और डेरी सेट आई हैव नॉट कम टू स्टील एनी थिंग तो डेरी अब अपनी सफाई पेश कर रहा है और वो कह रहा है कि मैं कुछ चुराने नहीं आया था मिस्टर लैम से नो नो द यंग लैट स्टील फ्राम द एपल्स यू आर नॉट सो यंग मिस्टर लैम से नहीं नहीं जो यंग बच्चे होते हैं वो चुराने के लिए आते हैं एप्पल्स क्रम्प टू स्टील द एपल्स बट तुम तो उतने यंग नहीं हो तुम उतने छोटे नहीं लग रहे हो then Derry said I just uh, wanted to come in into the garden he said बस मैं अंदर आना चाहता था आपके garden में so Mr Lamb says so you did here we are then तो he said okay तुम चाहते थे तो तुम इधर आ गए and then Derry says you don't know who I am but तुम मुझे नहीं जानते हो then Derry says आप तो मुझे नहीं जानते हो मैं कौन हूँ so in a way he wants to say that why are you so comfortable having me here when you don't know me Mr. Lamb says a boy, 13 or so. So then Mr. Lamb answers that um, you are a boy and you are 13 years or so. Then Daddy says I am 14. Then he pauses. But I have got to go now. Goodbye. Then he says um, I'm 14 years old. Then he takes a pause. Then he says that but अब मुझे जाना है. Goodbye. Then Mr. Lamb says nothing to be afraid of. Just a garden, just me. Then he says बिल्कुल घबराओ मत. कि मैं ही हूँ बस और ये मेरा एक गार्डन है तो मैं घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है डेडी से इज बट आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट अफ्रेड पीपल आर अफ्रेड ऑफ मी देन डेडी से इज दैट मैं अफ्रेड नहीं हूँ लोग मुझसे घबराते हैं मैं नहीं घबरा रहा हूँ आपसे लोग मुझसे घबराते हैं सो मिस्टर लैम से इज वाई शुड दैट बी ऐसा क्यों है डेडी से इज एवरी वन इज इट डजेंट मैटर हो दे आर और वट दे से और हाउ दे लुक हाउ दे प्रिटेंड आई नो आई कैन सी Then Daddy says हर कोई मुझसे घबराता है और चाहे वो कोई बड़ा हो छोटा हो it doesn't matter who they are वो क्या कहें क्या ना कहें मुझसे कोई नहीं घबराता but मुझे पता है कि वो मेरे से pretend करते हैं मेरे आगे and मैं जानता हूँ मुझे दिखता है कि वो मुझसे घबरा रहे हैं then Mr Lamb says see what uh, कि तुम्हें क्या दिखता है क्या क्या सोचते हो तुम that is what he means by this Then Daddy says, "What the thing?" वो कह रहा है मुझे पता है कि वो क्या सोचते हैं. So I see that. Then he says, "Then Mr. Lamb says, 'What do they think then?' Then Mr. Lamb is trying to strike a conversation with him, even if he's just beating about the bush. वो इधर उधर की बात कर रहा है. Point पर नहीं आ रहा. But then Mr. Lamb gives him the platform to express himself. Right? Then Daddy says, "Uh." You think here is a boy. You look at me, and then you see my face, and you think that's bad. So this is what he says: that if you look at my face, you will start thinking about me that I look very ugly. That's bad. That's a terrible thing. That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. You think poor boy. So 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 you think poor bo
not poor. Underneath, you are afraid. Anybody would be. I am. When I look in the mirror and see it, I am afraid of me. So he says, जब अपने आप को चेहरा अपना चेहरा देखता हूँ शीशे में मैं भी डर जाता हूँ so this is what he says so abhi tak ek context build up ho gaya that of course there is something wrong with his physical appearance that he himself is scared of looking uh, in the mirror and second that he is now trying to explain to mr lamb that what other people think of me no not the whole of you not a few then he said no i don't i don't think like that about you that he says yes you do think so he's very sure that you think like that about him mr lamb says later on when it's a bit cooler i'll get the ladder and a stick and pull down those crab apples they are ripe for it i make jelly it's a good time of year september look at them orange and golden that's magic fruit i often say but it's best picked and made into jelly you could give me a hand then mr lamb tries to change the topic and he says um, okay later on jab uh, thoda sa abhi thand ho jayegi abhi sham ka time hoga thodi si thand ho jayegi i'll get the ladder aur main stick launga main upar chadunga aur ye apples ko nikalunga fir main uski jam banaunga could you come and just help me so this is what um, this is how he is changing the topic now daddy says what have you changed the subject for people always do that why don't you ask me why do you do what they all do and pretend it's in true and it isn't there in case i see you looking and mind and get upset i'll tell you don't ask me because you are afraid to so now daddy says ki apne subject kyu badal diya yahi har koi karta hai people always do that aap log mujhe poochte kyu nahi ho ki mujhe kya hua hai aap hamesha cheezon ko इग्नोर करके किसी और बारे में क्यों बात करना चाहते हो जबकि मुझे पता है आप अंदर से मेरे बारे में क्या सोचते हो बट वाई डोंट यू स्ट्राइक अ कॉन्वर्जेशन विद मी अबाउट वॉट हैज हैपन टू मी इन केस आई सी यू लुकिंग एंड माइंड एंड गेट अपसेट तो इस डायलॉग से पता चलता है कि वो कितना मायूस है कितना हैरान है यू नो सो डिसहार्टेंड ही इज ही इज डिजेक्टेड एंड ही ऑल्सो क्वाइट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड with this thing that nobody strikes a conversation about it and want to know what happened to him all right so mr lamb says um, you want me to ask say so then then dairy says i don't like being with people any people then he says um, dairy say, to mr lamb kehta okay chalo fir tum mujhe batao kya hai kya hai then dairy says mujhe logon ke sath rehna acha nahi lagta kitni bhi logon ke sath then mr lamb says i should say to look at it i should say you got born in a fire then he said okay oh, then mujhe aisa lagta hai ki tum shayad burn ho gaye the fire mein that is why this kind of uh, this face you have um, then in the picture also you all can see that there's a scar on his face this young boy's face right not in a fire that he says i got acid all down that side of my face and it burnt it all away it ate my face up it ate me up and it, now it's like this and it won't be ever different any different then he says ki ye fire nahi hai ye acid hai aur um, it ate my face up it ate me up so isne physically bhi mujhe kha liya and it ate me up and mere spirit ko bhi to ye ek ऐसा कॉनोटेशन है यहाँ पर इट एट माई फेस अप इट एट मी अप एंड नाउ इट्स लाइक दिस एंड अब कभी भी कुछ डिफरेंट नहीं होगा तो वो बहुत निराश है बहुत सैड है कि उसके साथ ऐसा हुआ है और बिल्कुल होपलेस हो गया है दैट इट विल ऑलवेज बी द सेम मिस्टर लैम से इज नो टेरी से इज आंट यू इंटरेस्टेड देन मिस्टर लैम से इज यूर अ बॉय हु केम इन टू अ गार्डन plenty do i'm interested in anybody anything there is nothing god made that doesn't interest me look over there over beside the far far wall what can you see then when he ask him that aren't you interested to know about uh, to know about it or to know more about it then mr lamb says that you are a boy who came into the garden bahut bachche aate hain aur main sab mein bahut log aate hain aur main sab mein hi interested ho jata hu mere ko sab के सबसे मिल के बात करना अच्छा लगता है दर इज नथिंग दैट गॉड मेड दैट डजेंट इंटरेस्ट मी सो आई अप्रिशिएट वट एवर गॉड हैज मेड 
लुक ओवर देयर ओवर बिसाइड द फार वॉल वहां देखो वॉल के पास क्या देख सकते हो तुम तो डेरी बोलता है रबिश सो ही जस्ट गिव अ लूज रिमार्क रबिश मिस्टर लैम से इज रबिश लुक बॉय लुक वॉट यू सी वो कहता है रबिश नो 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 ध्यान से देखो देन डेरी से इज जस्ट ग्रास एंड स्टफ वीड्स तो ही सेट की ग्रास है और बस यही सब है सीड्स हैं वीड्स हैं देन मिस्टर लैम से इज सम कॉल दम वीड्स इफ यू लाइक देन अ वीड गार्डन दैट There's a fruit and there are flowers and trees and herbs. So over there, weeds. I grow weeds there. Why is one green, growing plant called a weed and another flower? What is the difference? It's all life growing, same as you and me. So he said, he कहीं पर flowers उगते हैं एक seed में से और कहीं पर weed weed रहता है. Because weed is unwanted. Weed जो है एक wild plant होता है, वो unwanted होता है and uh, वहां पर हमको लगानी होते हैं फ्लावर्स या अच्छी सी एक क्रॉप लगानी होती है लेकिन वीड आ जाता है तो ही सेड अब चाहे वो वीड हो चाहे बहुत सुंदर फ्लावर हो दोनों ही जो है क्या है अपने आप में लाइफ है अपने आप में ग्रोथ है चाहे अब वो वाइल्ड है चाहे वो हमारी तरफ से ग्रो करा हुआ प्लांट है सो दिस काइंड ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव ही ट्राइज टू बिल्ड विद डेरी डेरी सेज नो वी आर नॉट द सेम Then he says no, हम सब सेम नहीं है वीट वीट होता है फ्लावर फ्लावर होता है तो उसका सिम्बोलिज्म समझ रहा है दैट इज वाई ही सेज दैट नो हम सेम नहीं है आप अलग हो मैं अलग हूं मिस्टर लैम सेज आई एम ओल्ड यू आर यंग यू हैव गॉट अ बॉन्ड फेस आई गॉट अ टेन लेग नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू आर स्टैंडिंग देयर आई एम सिटिंग वेर इज द डिफरेंस देन ही सेट कि मैं ओल्ड हूँ तुम बस यंग हो तुम्हारे फेस पर स्कार है मेरी लेग जो है वो एक नहीं है वहां पर टेन की लेग है और कुछ भी ऐसा इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है तुम खड़े हुए हो मैं बैठा हुआ हूँ ऑल ऑफ बोथ ऑफ आर जस्ट लिविंग तो कहाँ डिफरेंस है दिस इज मिस्टर लैम्स फिलोसफी डेरी से इज वाई है टेन लेग आई गेट्स इंटरेस्टेड कि आपकी टेन लेग क्यों है हाउ डिड यू गेट इट मिस्टर लैम से इज रियल वन रियल वन मुझे तो बच्चे छेड़ते हैं मेरी जो टांग है जो लेग है वो कुछ साल पहले ब्लो ऑफ हो गई थी मतलब बिल्कुल जैसे उड़ गई थी किसी धमाके में एंड देन लैमी लैम मुझे बच्चे चढ़ाते हैं बट ठीक है सूट करता है मेरे पे एंड मुझे इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता इट डजेंट ट्रेवल मी डेरी सेज बट यू कैन पुट ऑन ट्राउजर्स एंड कवर इट अप इन नो वन सी इज डोंट हैव टू नोटिस एंड स्टेयर देन डेरी सेज कि आप इसको कवर कर सकते हो ट्राउजर पहन के वाई हैव यू लेफ्ट इट लाइक ओपन फॉर पीपल टू स्टेयर देन मिस्टर लैम सेज सम डू सम डोंट दे गेट टायर्ड ऑफ इट एंड इन दैंड देर इज प्लेंटी ऑफ अदर थिंग्स टू स्टेयर है देन ही सेज कि लोगों को इतना फर्क नहीं पड़ता कभी देखते हैं रिटायर्ड हो जाते हैं देन दे हैव अदर थिंग्स टू लुक अराउंड सो आई एम नॉट ऑलवेज द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट टेरी से इज लाइक माई फेस देन मिस्टर लैम से इज लाइक क्रैब एपल्स और द वीड्स और स्पाइडर क्लाइमिंग अप सिल्कन लैडर और माई स्मॉल सन माई टॉल सन फ्लावर्स मिस्टर लैम से इज की नो नॉट योर फेस दे वॉन्ट टू स्टेयर एट दॉन्ट टू स्टेयर एट द ब्यूटी ऑफ लाइफ दे कैन सी मे बी माई ब्यूटिफुल क्रैब एपल्स दे कैन सी माई लैडो दे कैन सी द फ्लावर्स इन द गार्डन दे कैन सी अ स्पाइडो देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू सी देर इज सेट थिंग्स देन मिस्टर लैम से इज इट्स ऑल रिलेटिव ब्यूटी एंड द beast he said that it's all relative if there is beauty there is ugliness if there is ugliness there is beauty so it's all relative now he reminds him of a story of beauty and the beast that what matters is inside your heart not your uh, look not your looks daddy says what's that supposed to mean mr lam says you tell me daddy says you need th- you needn't think they haven't all told me that fairy story before it's not what you look like it's what you are inside handsome is as handsome uh does now basically derry is speaking of all the fairy tales and of all the beautiful things that he have 
uh, you know being told he has been told uh, by mature people uh, that they have preached him it doesn't matter how you look your own, your heart only matters but then he says now you don't need to tell me that main ye bahut pehle se sunta hua aa raha hu but ultimately it matters because main bahut ajeeb lagta hu beauty love the monstrous beast tab wo keh raha hai ki us story mein beauty and the beast mein beauty ko jo hai monstrous beast acha laga tha uh and when she kissed him he changed into a handsome prince only he wouldn't he would have stayed a monstrous beast i won't change now he said that uh but mai to kabhi change nahi hunga wo monstrous beast jo hai change ho gaya tha because there was somebody to love him but then i won't change because he could change into a handsome prince but i won't the chalan says in that way no you won't now mr lam says okay now you're talking about physical change no you won't change then then dairy says and no one will kiss me ever only my mother and she kisses me on the other side of my face and i don't like my mother to kiss me she does it because she has to why should i like that i don't care if nobody ever kisses me now he says that and nobody is going to love me nobody is going to kiss me ever only my mother gives me a peck on my cheek because that too on the other side because it's it's like you know it's like her duty and she has to to take care of her child but i don't like when she does that then he says that and nobody has to kiss me that's okay so this tone somewhere shows that he is so disappointed by the world he is not being treated equally by people he is somewhere being judged because of how he looks and then there is this hopelessness bahut hopelessness hai usme and wo bahut zyada you know hatash hai ki ab meri zindagi aise hi hai but somewhere usne aise hi apni life ko accept kar liya hai but kahin na kahin ek a corner of his heart jo hai somewhere is very frustrated also because of the wrong doings because of the way might he might have been bullied Mr Lam says ah but do you care if you never kiss them uh but then Mr Lam says okay but uh, would you would you care if you never get to kiss um them so he just says this statement and then Derry does doesn't understand this then he says what what are you trying to say then says girls pretty girls long hair and large eyes people you love then he says तो आपको कभी बुरा लगेगा दैट इफ यू डोंट गेट टू किस प्रिटी गर्ल्स ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल्स विद लार्ज आईज पीपल मे बी दैट यू लव डेरी सेज बट हु वुड लेट मी नॉट वन कोई मुझे नहीं करने देगा नो बडी वुड अलाउ मी टू गेट फिजिकली क्लोज टू देम नाम इस्लाम सेज हु कैन टेल दैन इस्लाम सेज ऐसा तो नहीं है कौन ऐसे श्योरिटी बता सकता है श्योरिटी से बता सकता है दैट नो बडी वुड लेट यू नियर दैम Daddy says I won't ever look different when I'm as old as you I look the same I'm still I'll still only have half a face and he says ki main kabhi change nahi hunga even jab main aapke jitna old bhi ho gaya then also only my half face would be there then Mr Lam says so you will but the world won't the world's got a whole face and the world's there to be looked at then mr lamb does not give him a very rosy picture of life he tells him the truth but then he also tells him to look at the other side of the uh, world then he says that yeah aisa hai uh, jo aap keh rahe ho you will look the same so you will but the world won't look the same but ye duniya waisi nahi rahegi world ka abhi jo tum abhi jo tumne duniya dekhi hai wo sirf ek hissa hai and the world there is still the world that you need to look at there is still the world that you will end up appreciating to so, is line ka bahut importance hai in kind of giving the perspective to this boy and mr lamb does that very nicely then derry says do you think this is the world this old garden uh, mr lamb says when i'm here not only the one but the world as much as anywhere now derry says okay तो आपको लगता है कि ये पूरी दुनिया है ये जिस गार्डन में आप रहते हो यही पूरी दुनिया है दैट पीपल दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से मिस्टर लैम सेज हाँ जब मैं यहाँ हूँ तो यही मेरी दुनिया है ये पूरा वर्ल्ड नहीं है 
बट क्योंकि अभी मैं यहाँ हूँ आई एम लिविंग इन द मोमेंट सो दिस इज माई वर्ल्ड सो दिस इज वॉट ही मीन्स टू से ना डेरी आज डज योर लेग हर्ट टू हर्ट यू देन स्लैम से स्टिन डजेंट हर्ट बॉय वेन इट केम ऑफ डिड इड सर्टनली बट देन डेरी आज बट जब आपकी लेग ब्रेक हुई जब आपकी आपका लेग आपकी बॉडी से अलग हुआ वेन इट केम ऑफ तब तो दर्द हुआ होगा हाँ बिल्कुल हुआ था सर्टनली डेरी से नाउ आई मीन वेर द टिन स्टॉप एट द टॉप डेरी आज एट बट वो टिन जहाँ जाके टॉप पर ज्वाइंट हो रहा है उसका ज्वाइंट लग रहा है वहां पर तो पेन होता होगा मिस्टर लैम से इज नाउ एंड देन हाँ कभी हो जाता है इन वेट वेदर इट डजेंट सिग्निफाई से इज हाँ कभी कभी होता है कभी जब बहुत मशहूर हो जाता है तब होता है बट इट डजेंट मैटर इट डजेंट सिग्निफाई इसका मतलब है इट डजेंट मैटर एज आई सेड ओके डेरी ओह दैट समथिंग एल्स दे ऑल से लुक एट ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर इन पेन एंड ब्रेव एंड नेवर क्राई एंड नेवर कंप्लेन एंड डोंट फील सॉरी फॉर देम सेल्फ तो ही सेज दैट ये हर कोई बोलता है कि इट डजेंट मैटर मिस्टर लैम सेज आई हैवेंट सेड इट बट मैंने ये नहीं कहा है डेरी सेज एंड थिंक ऑफ ऑल दोज पीपल वो आर सॉफ्ट एंड यू थिंक यू माइट हैव बिन ब्लाइंडेड और बॉन्ड डेफ और हैव टू लिव इन अ व्हील चेयर और बी ड्राफ्ट इन योर हेड एंड ड्रिपल सो इन दिस पैराग्राफ डेरी सेज दैट और वो ये भी जानता है कि उसको बहुत बार ये भी लोगों ने बोला है कि अपने से उन लोगों का सोचो जो कि बहुत वर्स कंडीशन में है ना कि वो चल पाते हैं वो व्हील चेयर में रहते हैं ना देख सकते हैं ना सुन सकते हैं या फिर वो फुलिश हैं सिली हैं और या फिर वो ड्रिबल करते हैं ड्रिबल करते हैं मतलब लाइक चिल्ड्रन यू नो उनके मुंह से सलाइबा हर समय गिरता रहता है सो देर आर पीपल हु आर नॉट इन दर सेंसेस एंड दे ऑल्सो ड्रिबल द ग्रोन अप्स ऑल्सो एंड मिस्टर लैम से एंड दैट्स ऑल ट्रू एंड यू नो इट एंड मिस्टर लैम से तो ये कुछ गलत तो नहीं है अगर लोगों ने तुम्हें पहले ऐसा कहा है तुम्हें भी ऐसा पता है कि ये सच है नाउ वॉट डेरी सेज टू इट He says it won't make my face change. Do you know? One day a woman went by me in the street. I was at a bus stop and she was with another woman and she looked at me and she said, uh, whispered. Only I heard her. She said, "Look at that. That's a terrible thing. That's a face only a mother could love." Now this is what um, Daddy says that मेरा फेस तो नहीं चेंज हो जाएगा ना इन सब लेसन्स से जो मुझे लोग प्रीच करते हैं और आपको पता है एक बार एक लेडी ने क्या बोला था तो उस लेडी ने धीरे से ये बोला था जो कि मैंने सुना था कि लुक एट हिज फेस इस फेस से तो कोई भी प्यार नहीं कर सकता सिर्फ उसकी मदर ही उसको प्यार कर सकती है बिकॉज वो एक बॉन्ड ही ऐसा होता है बट देन दैट इज सच अ पथेटिक स्टेटमेंट टू से टू समी हुविंग अज इन अचुएशन दैट इज नॉट इन हिज अ हैंड्स मिस्टर लैम से सो यू बिलीव एवरी थिंग यू हेयर दैन दैन मिस्टर लैम ने बोला कि तुम जो भी सुनते हो तो तुम उस पर ट्रस्ट कर लेते हो दैन डेरी सेज इट वॉज क्रूअल इट वॉज जस्ट टू ऑड इट वॉज जस्ट टू अगेंस्ट द एथिक्स टू से समबड़ी टू से थिंग्स लाइक दैट टू समबड़ी वेरी हार्श वेरी रूड मिस्टर लैम से इज मे बी नॉट मैन डैस सर जस्ट समथिंग सेट बिटवीन दैम and uh, derry says only i heard it i heard well then mr lamb is trying to convince him that uh, maybe uska wo matlab nahi hoga and derry says okay maine suna tha and then mr lamb says and is that the only thing you have ever heard anyone say in your life then he said that ki bas wahi baat aapne suni hai abhi tak derry jo aapne suni us woman se bas wahi ek baat hai derry says oh, no i have heard a lot of things so kehta nahi maine bahut baatein suni hai तो मिस्टर लैम ने उसको एक सजेशन दिया सो नाउ यू कीप योर ईयर्स शट तुम आगे से मत सुनो अपने कान बंद कर लो नाउ डेवी सेज यू आर पेक्यूलियर देन ही सेज दैट यू आर स्ट्रेंज यू से स्ट्रेंज थिंग्स यू आर क्वेश्चंस आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड डेरी ने बोला कि तुम बहुत स्ट्रेंज बातें करते हो मिस्टर लैम को बोला और आपकी बातें मुझे कभी कभी आपके क्वेश्चन मुझे नहीं समझ आते हैं Then Mr. Lam says, "I like to talk. Have company. You don't have to answer questions. You don't have to stop here at all. The gate is 
ओपन तो मिस्टर लैगम ने बोला कि मुझे अच्छा लगता है बात करना टू हैव पीपल अराउंड मी टू टॉक टू एंड तुमको सब क्वेश्चन का आंसर करने की जरूरत नहीं है और तुमको यहाँ भी आने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर तुम्हें नहीं अच्छा लगा गेट खुला है यू कैन गो बट देन डेरी सेज येस बाट सो इट शोज दैट डेरी समवेयर इज इंटरेस्टेड एंड डजेंट वॉन्ट टू गो बट येस ही इज बेटर बिकॉज ऑफ हिज एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ वॉट ही हैज हर्ड एवर नमस्ते लैम सेज I have a hive of bees behind those trees over there. Some hear bees and they say bees buzz, but when you listen to bees for a long while, they hum. And hum means sing. I hear them singing my bees. Now, Mr. Lamb again gives him a life a perspective towards life, that even uh, some people, uh, you know, hear that bees buzz, but for me, it is singing. If I listen to it very closely and for some for a long while, so it's about changing your perspective, about your viewpoint. Now Derry says, but I like it here. I came in because I liked it when I looked over the wall. But then Derry said, uh, so he just completed his sentence from above. Yes, but जब उन्होंने बोला था ना that you don't have to stop here and you can go. तो यहाँ से Derry ने कहा yes, but then Mr. Lamb ने topic फिर से change कर दिया था bees वाला. And now in this dialogue, Derry uh, continues that dialogue. Yes, but पर आई लाइक इट है पर मुझे यहाँ अच्छा लग रहा है और मैं इसलिए आया था बिकॉज मुझे ये जगह पहले ही अच्छी लग रही थी जब मैंने इस वॉल को इस गार्डन की वॉल को देखा था सो डेरी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस चैप्टर हैज शोन अ साइन ऑफ लाइकिंग फॉर समथिंग नाउ मिस्टर लैम से इज इफ यू हैड सीन मी यू वुड नॉट हैव कम इन ना मिस्टर लैम ने बोला कि अगर तुमने मुझको देख लिया होता तो तुम अंदर नहीं आते डेरी से इज नो देन मिस्टर लैम से इज नो नहीं आते देन डेरी सेज इट वुड हैव बिन ट्रेस पासिंग तो अगर मैं आता तो वो ट्रेस पासिंग हो जाती मतलब मेरे को मेरे को नहीं पता था कि ये आपका गार्डन है मैं तो एक जनरली एक खाली एक अबैंड लैंड की तरह अंदर आया था और अगर मैं आपको देखकर आता तो ऐसा लगता कि मैं ट्रेस पास कर रहा हूँ किसी और के लीगल एरिया में एंट्री कर रहा हूँ मिस्टर लैम सेज आह दैट्स नॉट वाई um then dari says i don't like being near people when they stare when i see them being afraid of me then dari says ki mujhe logon ke paas rehna acha nahi lagta hai aur jab wo mujhe stare karte hain tab main unhe dekhta hu ki mujhse ghabra gaye hain so i don't like that feeling then mr lamb says you could lock yourself up in a room and never leave it there was a man who did that he was afraid you see of everything everything in this world a bus might run over him uh, run him over or a man might breathe deadly germs onto him or a donkey might kick him to death or lightning might strike him down or might love a girl and the girl would leave him and he might slip on a banana skin and fall and people who saw him would laugh at their heads or would laugh their heads off so he went into this room and locked the door and got his got into his bed and stayed there So now Mr Lamb is giving an example of a man uh, a story that he creates that he says that ek insaan tha jo kabhi bhi apne kamre se bahar nahi nikalta tha because uske bahut sare fears the usko lagta tha ki koi bus mujhe takkar maar degi agar main bahar nikla ya mere upar germs aa jayenge ya fir koi donkey mujhe uh, laath maar sakta hai mere upar bijli gir sakti hai um, and uh, koi ladki jise main pyar karu mujhe chhod ke chali jayegi या फिर मैं केले के छिलके पे गिर जाऊंगा सो फॉर एवरी सिली थिंग ही इग्नोर्ड लिविंग हिज प्लेस सो ही लॉक्ड हिम सेल्फ इन साइड डेट ही सेट फॉर एवर डेट ही लॉक हिम सेल्फ फॉर एवर देन मिस्टर लैम सेज या फॉर वाइल ही डेट देन डेट ही सेट फिर क्या हुआ मिस्टर लैम सेट अ पिक्चर फेल ऑफ द वॉल ऑन टू हिट एंड किल हिम देन ही सेट कि वो कमरे में ही था और एक पेंटिंग लगी हुई थी वो पिक्चर नीचे गिरी उसके सर पर और वो मर गया Then Derry laughs a lot. So Derry बहुत खुल के हँसता है. So Mr. Lamb, you see, Derry says, but you still say peculiar things. But मैं कहूँगा कि हाँ ये अच्छा था, but आप बहुत strange बात करते हो, बहुत strange बातें करते हो. Mr. Lamb says, okay, I'm strange to some people. That's okay. Derry says, what do you do all day? Now Derry is interested in him. He wants to know about his day. Mr. Lamb says कि मैं 
uh, I sit in the sun, I read books. You thought it was an empty house, but inside it's full. Books and other things, full. Then he said ki aapko laga tha mera ghar khali hai, Terry, but mera ghar jo hai, wo books se bhara hua hai, aur mai read karta hoon, bahar dhup mein aata hoon. Lot many things are there that I do. But there aren't any curtains at the windows. Terry said, but aapke windows pe koi curtains nahi hai. Um... Uh, Mr. Lamb says, I'm not fond of curtains, shutting things out, shutting things in. I like the light and the darkness. The windows open to hear the wind. Now, Mr. Lamb says that I have a very open thing for me. I don't like curtains because the things that are in the inside are also locked. The things that are outside are locked. And I like the light and the darkness. The outside darkness and the darkness are also locked. मैं हमेशा अपनी खिड़कियां भी खुली रखता हूं बिकॉज मुझे विंस विंट की आवाज बहुत अच्छी लगती है सो दिस इज व्हाट मिस्टर लैम्ब आंसर्स ना डेडी सेज यस आई लाइक दैट व्हेन इट्स रेनिंग आई लाइक टू हियर इट ऑन द रूफ सो नाउ ही शेयर्स दैट व्हाट हिज मोमेंट ऑफ जॉय इज कि उसको क्या करना अच्छा लगता है उसको अपने रूफ पर जाकर बैठना अच्छा लगता है जब बारिश होती है आई लाइक द साउंड ऑफ द रेन ही सेज Now, Mr. Lamb says, so, in, so you're not lost, are you? Not altogether. You do hear things. You listen. Now, Mr. Lamb says, ki, okay, so you're not so much lost. You're listening to good things. You don't listen to bad things. You actually listen. Now, Derry says, <clears throat> you actually listen. Now, Derry says, they talk about me downstairs when I'm not there. What he will do. What will he ever do? What's going to happen to him when we have gone? How ever will he get on in this world? Looking like that, with that on his face, that's what they say. My parents, I listen to them, I eavesdrop. When they talk to him, what will happen to him when we are not around him? When we are not around him, what will happen to him when we are not around him? What will happen to him? And uh, with that on his face, which is his face, how will he be able to survive? That's what they say. Say, Mr. Lamb says, Lord, boy, you have got two arms, two legs and eyes and ears. You have got a tongue and a brain. You will get on this way you want, like all the rest. And if you choose and set your mind to it, you can get, you could get on better than all the rest. And he says, Ki, Jab tak tumhare paas two arms hai, two legs hai, eyes hai, tumhara dimaag hai, tum kuch kar sakte ho. And tum baakiyon se bhi achha kar sakte ho, agar tum cha ho. Daddy says, how? Mr. Lamb says, same way as I do, jaysay mein karta hoon. Terry says, do you have any friends? Mr. Lamb says, hundreds. I have many friends. Terry says, but you live by yourself in that house. It's a big house too. Then he says, but koi rehta to nahi hai wahan par. Woh itna bada house hai, wahan koon rehta hai aapke saath? You live alone. Then Mr. Lamb says, friends everywhere. People come and everybody knows me. The gate is always open. They come and sit here and in front of the fire in winter. Kids come for the apples and pears. And for toffee, I make toffee with honey. Anybody comes, so have you. So he said, my lot of friends are here. Every place is open. My gate is always open. People come and sit in the sun. They eat apples. They play with the kids. And everybody likes me. And everybody likes to sit around me. And in this way, you also like me. मिले हो, but then Terry says, but I'm not your friend. Then Mr. Lamb says, certainly you are my friend. So far as I am concerned, what have you done to make me think you're not? But तुमने अभी तक कुछ ऐसा करा नहीं है जिससे मुझे लगे कि तुम मेरे friend नहीं हो. Now Terry says, you don't know me. You don't know where I come from and even what my name is. And he says कि आपको तो ये भी नहीं पता कि मेरा name क्या है, मैं कहाँ से आया हूँ. Mr. Lamb says. Why should that matter? Why should that signify? Do I have to write all your particulars down and put them in a filing box before you can be a friend? Then Mr. Lamb says, Why? Do I have to write your whereabouts in a document? Do I have to make a file? Do I have to make a friendship with you? Then Derry says, I suppose not. No, it's not like that. Then Mr. Lamb says, You could tell me your name if you choose and not if you didn't. So Mr. Lamb says, it's okay. If you want to tell me your name, you can tell me your name. But if you choose not to tell me, that's also fine. My friendship doesn't depend on where you come from. So, this is what they want to say. 
Then Derry says Derry, uh, then, then he gives his name to him, Derry. It, only it's Derek, but I hate that. Gareb, I say my name Derek, hai, but I don't like that. So Derry, if I'm your friend, you don't have to be mine. If I'm your friend, then there's no need to be your friend. Bano. I choose that. Mr. Lamb says, okay, certainly. Derry says, I might never come again here again you might never see me again and then i couldn't still be a friend then he says ki ho sakta main haan kabhi wapas na aao aur aap kabhi mujhe dobara dekho nahi to i can't be a friend then lamb says why not dari says how could i you pass people in the street and you might even speak to them but you never see them again it doesn't mean they are friends because dari keh raha hai ki aap street mein kitne logo se milte ho jo aap se interact bhi karte hai बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वो हमारे फ्रेंड्स बन जाते हैं मिस्टर लैम से ऐसा भी नहीं है कि वो एनिमीज बन जाते हैं ऐसा भी नहीं है देन डैडी से इज नो दे आर जस्ट नथिंग पीपल दैट्स ऑल देन इज ऐसा एनिमी नहीं है बट वो सिर्फ लोग हैं देन मिस्टर मिस्टर लैम से इज पीपल आर नेवर जस्ट नथिंग नेवर तो ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि पीपल जो लोग हैं वो कुछ भी ना हो Derry says there are some people I hate. Now Derry expresses कि कुछ लोग ऐसे हैं जिनमें बहुत हेट करता हूँ. Lamb said that you do more harm than any bottle of acid. Acid only burns your face. Now Mr. Lamb says that if you will keep hatred in your heart, that is going to give you more harm. That is going to do you more harm than any bottle of acid can do to you. It, because acid only burns your face, but this hatred, if you keep inside your heart, will burn you from the inside now derry is really hurt at this and he says only you mean that acid only burns your face that is what he means to say mr lamb says like a bomb only blew up my leg now he takes the humor there on himself like in a very humorous and a very frivolous manner he says ha jaise ki ek bomb ne sirf only blew up my leg There is worse things can happen. वो फिर से उसको एक पॉजिटिव परस्पेक्टिव दे रहा है कि बहुत बुरा भी हो सकता था यू कैन बर्न योर सेल्फ अवे इन साइड विद दैट फीलिंग ऑफ हेटरेड तुम अंदर से भी जल जाओगे ना डेरेक्ट सेट आफ्टर आई कम होम वन पर्सन सेट यू वुड हैव बिन बेटर ऑफ स्टॉपिंग इन देर इन द हॉस्पिटल ही वुड बेटर ऑफ विद अदर्स लाइक इन सेल्फ शी थिंक्स ब्लाइंड पीपल ओनली ऑट टू बी विद अदर ब्लाइंड पीपल एंड इटेड बॉयज विद इटेड बॉयज ही सेट दैट जब मैं घर आया तो मुझे एक इंसान ने ये कहा कि जिस तरीके से इडियट्स इडियट्स के साथ रहते हैं या फिर ब्लाइंड्स ब्लाइंड्स के साथ रहते हैं इसी तरीके से तुमको भी अपने जैसे लोगों के साथ वहीं रहना चाहिए था वापस नहीं आना चाहिए था एंड देन मिस्टर लैम से इज दैट पीपल विद नो लेग्स और जिन लोगों की लेग्स नहीं है उनको भी साथ रहना चाहिए राइट देन डेर इज एट राइट यही लोगों का मानना है मिस्टर लैम से वट कैन ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड वुड दैट बी तो मिस्टर लैम ने बोला कैसी वो दुनिया हो जाएगी डेरी सेट एट लीस्ट देर वुड बी नो बडी टू स्टेर एट यू बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट लाइक दैम बट देन डेरी सेट वो ठीक ही होगा बिकॉज कोई आपसे अलग नहीं होगा तो कोई आपको घूर नहीं रहा होगा मिस्टर लैम से इज सो यू थिंक यूर जस्ट द सेम एज ऑल द अदर पीपल विद बर्न फेसेस जस्ट बाई वॉट यू लुक लाइक हाँ Ah, everything is different. Everything is the same, but everything is different itself. Now, Mr. Lamb is just these lines does not exactly mean what he means here. So you just need to understand that by these lines, he says that okay, so तुमको ऐसे लगता है कि तुम बाकी उन्हीं सब लोगों की तरह हो जिनके faces bond है. जिस तरीके से तुम दिखते हो, तुम उनके जैसे हो. चाहे उनका दिल जैसा भी हो. right so this is what you mean to say that you are not like other people with burnt faces because they do not have a heart like you they have a different type of heart uh now derry says how do you make all that out kaise aap ye baatein bana lete ho mr lamb says watching listening thinking kare mai logon ko observe karta hu dekhta hu unki baat sunta hu sochta hu then derry says i would like a place like this a garden i would like a house with no curtains now derry says that i also want this kind of a setup for myself Now Mr. Lamb says the gate is always open. You can come. Uh, but Derry says, "But ये मेरा नहीं है. मुझे ऐसा चाहिए अपने लिए." Mr. Lamb says, "Everything's yours if you want. What's mine is anybody's." Now he says that जो मेरा है वो सबका है. अगर तुम इसको अपना बनाना चाहते हो, if you want it, it is yours. 
डेर इज ए सो आई कुड कम हेयर अगेन तो मतलब मैं दोबारा आ सकता हूँ इवन इफ यू आर आउट आई कुड कम हेयर अगर आप घर पर नहीं हो मैं तब भी आ सकता हूँ मिस फिलहाल ने बोला सर्टनली यू माइट फाइंड अदर्स हेयर ऑफ कोर्स और यहाँ पर और भी लोग हो सकता है तुमको मिल जाए एंड डेर इज एज ओ बट वेल मिस फिलहाल ने बोला वेल दैट मीन स्टॉप यू यू नीडेंट माइंड दिस नाउ वो बोल रहा है कि मिस फिलहाल बोलता है कि बट अब तुम इस चीज़ को मत एक ऑब्स्टेकल की तरह लो कि तुम यहाँ नहीं आ सकते हो अगर कोई और मिला तो then डेरी says it would stop them if not me they would mind me वो मुझे उनको मेरे साथ अजीब लगेगा when they saw me here they look at my face and run वो जब मुझे यहाँ देखेंगे तो भाग जाएंगे मिस लैम सेज दे माइट दे माइट नॉट यू वुड हैव टू टेक द रिस्क सो वो दे तुम भी रिस्क लो वो भी रिस्क लेते हैं लेट्स ट्राई टू को एग्जिस्ट डेरी सेज No, you would. You might have me and lose all your other friends because nobody wants to stay near me if they can help it. Now, Daddy says that if you become my friend, then your friends will not be your friends. So it is better that you don't have me here. Daddy says no. When I go down the street, the kids shout, "Lamb, lamb!" But they still come into the garden and into my house. It's a game. They're not afraid of me. Why should they be? Because I'm not afraid of them. That's why not. Now he says that when I when I go down the street, kids who are very much shout, they call me Lamy Lamb. But they still come into the garden. 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 तो इफ आई गिव दैम दिस ओपन स्पेस टू चैट विद मी टू इंटरेक्ट विद मी एंड सो दे आर कम्फर्टेबल नाउ दैट इज वॉट ही सेज दैन डेरी सेज आई डोंट बिलीव इन दैम आई डोंट थिंक एनी बडी एवर कम्स यू आर हेयर ऑल डे बाई योर सेल्फ एंड मेजरेबल एंड नो वन वुड नो इफ यूर अलाइव और डेड एंड नो बडी Okay, so Derry, because he is also full of you know his insecurities and isolation and alienation from the whole world. That is why his thoughts are so negative. That is why he is also trying to now impose those thoughts on uh, Mr. Lamb. And he says that I do not believe that people come here. Here, and nobody will come here searching for you. You are here alone. Nobody would come and even see whether you are fine or not. Mr. Lam says you think what you please, and now he says that जो तुम्हें ठीक लगे वो तुम सोच सकते हो. Then Derry says all right then tell me some of their names. Derry says okay बताना मुझे कौन कौन आता है यहाँ पे give me their names. Then Mr. Lam says what are names? Tom, Dick, or Harry. Then he said that what is there in a name? The name could be very common, like it could be any Tom, it could be Dick or Harry. So it's a phrase when you say that any common uh, person. Uh, that is a reference to any common person now he gets up and he says that i am going to my business of uh, bees i am going there to the beehive now daddy says i think you are daft crazy now he calls him names and he says that you are foolish and you are very crazy and all that mr lamb says yeah that's a good excuse ye ek acha bahana hai daddy says bahana kyun You don't talk sense. ये तो कोई बात नहीं बनी. It is of no sense to me. Mr. Lamb says. Good excuse not to come back, and you have got a burnt up face, and that's other people excuse. And then he says कि हाँ, तुम्हारे पास एक अच्छा बहाना है that I'm crazy. तो इसलिए तुम्हारे पास एक अच्छा excuse है that you don't want to come back to this crazy person. और ये जो तुम burnt up face का बार बार बोलते हो, ये तुम्हारे ये लोगों का excuse है तुम्हारे पास ना आने के लिए. So Derry is even more angry at this, and he says, "You are like the others. You like to say things like that. If you don't feel sorry for my face, you are frightened of it. So if you don't feel sorry for my face, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. If you are not afraid of me, it means that you are afraid of me. I am a devil, don't you think that? Like so, he is screaming, Derry. But then what happens to his scream? Mr. Lamb does not reply, or he goes to his bees. Ke paas chale jaate hai. Derry is very quiet now. He quietly says, "No, you don't. I like it here." Now he says that, "No, you don't uh, think that I am a devil, and I am liking this here." 
Now there is a pause. Derry gets up and shouts again. I'm going, but I'll come back. You see, you wait. I can run. I've got. I haven't got a tin leg. I'll be back. So he says. So this indecisiveness and this fluctuation in the behavior is somewhere coming out of the anger, of the hurt, of a little warm bond also that they have formed. But he is so confused. He doesn't know what will happen in the future. Well, he'll be whether he'll be able to come here or not again. So that is why this confusion is there. Derry runs off. Uh, silence is there. Sounds of the garden again, of the rustling leaves. Now let's come to Mr. Lamb's di- dialogue. He speaks to himself. He says, "They are, they are, they are my dears. That's you seen too. Ah, you know, we all know. I'll come back. They never do though. Not them." Uh, never do come back. So now Mr. Lamb knows that people say they'll come back, but nobody comes back. So he is also feeling a little bad that Derry is gone. The garden noises now fade. So that scene ends. Now scene two is Derry's house. Now we uh, we see another character in the play that is mother's character. So mother says, "You think I don't know about him? You think I haven't heard things?" Derry says, "You shouldn't believe all you hear." So the mother is trying to tell him that I've heard of that man, and uh, don't you think कि मुझे उनके बारे में पता है? Then Derry says, "हाँ, but जो भी आपने सुना है, you don't have to believe that." So basically, the mother maybe is trying to say that he is the one who is little mad, and he talks to everybody who just comes along. So you better stay away, something like that. Then Derry says that you shouldn't believe it, right? So mother says. Been told, warned. We have not lived here three months, but I know what there is to know, and you are not going to go back there. So he says, "Ki abhi hume yahan three months hoye rehte, so you can't risk going back there. And mujhe pata hai kya karna hai, kya nahi karna hai, so you are not going to go back there." So she commands him. Now Derry says, "What are you afraid of? What do you think he is? An old man with a tin leg, and he lives in a huge house with without curtains and has a garden." And I want to be there and sit and listen to things. So he just explains that I want to do this. And what is happening in this story? He is an old man. He lives in his house and he doesn't have curtains. So what he means to say is that he is a very transparent uh, human. Or he is a very, you know, uh, very clear conscience. Hai unka. And he is very. So he lives in a house without curtains. Shows what kind of a sim- uh, symbolism is there that. is a man of clear thoughts and uh, so he tries to explain that listen and look the mother says listen to what so she is interrupting now daddy be singing him talking so he say he tries to say that mai jab unse mila to wahan ye hua the bees were singing and he was talking mother says and what has he got to say to you ki unhone tumhe kaha kya kaha jab tum unse mile then daddy says things that matter things nobody else has ever said things i want to think about so daddy said there was this, uh, this confession about his liking towards this man he is the one who has accepted him he is the one who hasn't ever behaved like anybody else so warmly so nicely with daddy and all the things he talked were the ones that he always wanted to listen mother says then you stay here and do your thinking you are best of it then he said then the mother takes him for granted and does not believe him and says ki aap yahi raho dairy ghar pe raho and jo sochna hai yahan reh kar socho dairy says i hated her i don't like the monotony this boring uh, atmosphere in the house mother says you can't help the things you say i forgive you it's bound to make you feel bad uh things and say them i don't blame you then mother says that okay i understand i don't blame you that it feels bad here but then there is no choice koi choice nahi hai yahi pe rehna padega now dairy says it's got nothing to do with my face and what i look like i don't care about that and it isn't important it's what i think and feel and what i want to see and find out and hear to bol raha hai ki uh there is nothing that you have that uh, that you know has to do with my face to mera jo unke sath conversation hua hai wo bahut cheezon se hatkar hai hamesha mere personality jo hai wo chupi rahi 
and only my face became the obstacle in everything but now i feel that what i think how i feel is more important than how i look so i want to hear things i want to explore things and i'm going back there and only to help him with the crab apples i'll go there join him in his um, uh, hobby of this picking apples only to look at things and listen but i'm going so he declares so in the starting of the chapter we understood that Derry is a very defiant boy. So actually now he's sticking to that defiance in his nature. जहाँ पर वो अब ये दिखा रहा है that he can also speak for his own self. तो वो खाली एक negative way में defiance नहीं है. वहाँ पर वो एक positive change उसके अंदर दिखा है. Now mother is warning him, you will stop here. Now Derry is adamant. Oh no, oh no. Now he's determined कि मैं नहीं रुकने वाला. I will go there again. Because if I don't go back there, I'll never go anywhere in this world again. तो इसे इसके मैं और कहीं नहीं जाऊंगा द डोर स्लैम्स डेरी रन पैंटिंग एंड आई वॉन्ट द वर्ल्ड आई वॉन्ट इट आई वॉन्ट इट सो देर इज दिस डिजायर देर इज लॉन्ग लेफ्ट होप ऑफ दिस चाइल्ड हु इज नाउ यू नो ब्लूमिंग विद हैप्पीनेस एंड होप नाउ सो द साउंड ऑफ हिस पैंटिंग फेज सो बिकॉज ही वॉज नाउ रनिंग टू मिस्टर लैम नाउ वी आर एट सीन थ्री मिस्टर लैम्स गार्डन Uh, is the there uh, is there scene number three? So the sound of the garden is there. Noise of a branch shifting, apples thumping down the branch shifting again. So kya sound aa rahi hai? Jaise hi dairy enter karta hai ki trees ki branches hil rahi hai aur apples gir rahe hain. So as if somebody is working on the um, on the tree. Mr. Lamb, steady. That's got it. That's it. More apples fall. So Mr. Lamb is doing this. Uh, you know, he's catching and picking up the apples from the tree. So probably he's climbing up the stairs. And again, that's it. And then, so he's using these words just to express that he is into that process of picking the apples. So in the bracket, what do we understand? A creak, a crash. The ladder falls back. So Mr. Lamb, who was, was on the ladder, and the ladder falls down in this process. Mein. मिस्टर लैम विद इट अ थम्प द ब्रांच स्विश इज बैक तो जो ब्रांच है वो भी टूट जाती है लैडर भी गिर जाती है और मिस्टर लैम जो है वो एक क्रैश के साथ फ्लोर पे गिर जाते हैं देन देर इज अ साइलेंस डेरी ओपन द गार्डन गेट स्टिल पैंटिंग और डेरी तो अपने घर से अभी आपने देखा सीन टू में कि वो भाग कर आता है तो वो ऑलरेडी पैंट कर रहा है डेरी says you see you see i came back you said i won't and they said but i came back i wanted to so he says that unhone mujhe roka unhone mujhe bola ki mat jao aur tum bhi keh rahe the ki main nahi aaunga but see i've come here he stops dead silence but wo ekdam se dumbfounded ho jata hai to see that mr lamb is has fallen down aur ye jo picture thi aapke book mein wo yahi dikha rahi thi ki that he has fallen down and then derry has come okay Now we go there. Mr. Lamb, you have so he has no words because he's dumbfounded. He says, "Mr. Lamb, you have like you have fallen down." He runs through the grass, stops, kneels. So these are the actions that you can see. He was kneeling down. Mr. Lamb, it's all right. You fell. I'm here, Mr. Lamb. It's all right. Then he's trying to. uh kind of take care of him and do whatever is possible i came back lay me lamb i did come back terry begins to weep so this is how the play ends all right so uh this is how the play has ended i think if you just read it the language is very simple children and you can really get it at once so that is why a lot of explanation is not required here the dialogues are written in very um, a very colloquial manner which is very easy to understand now if we just have a look at the question answers what is that that draws derry towards mr lamb in spite of himself so there are so many instances that you can write that you know uh, how uh, derry is being influenced by the motivation that he is trying to um you know in a way give to derry who's already so hopeless so he is like the light in the dark 
or that light at the end of the tunnel you can refer so to that some motivational um, uh, answer uh, where you can write some play where he says and you can refer to some motivational so he was very uh, clear parts of the he was very play where he says and he what showed him beyond so he was uh, very clear uh, the face he was very uh, that's you know, what matters he inside he showed him is beyond more important. so uh, that uh, the is face what, uh, uh, that you know what matters inside is land. more important so that you know when it comes to question of the answer could be mr in Lamb. that part where he mentions that uh, i have a lot of friends but then when derry asks him that can you give me the name of your friends he just changes the topic and says mm-hmm. that okay what is there in a name tom dick or harry so it shows that he is lonely it's just that in the visitors he finds friends second he also says that uh, i live in this house without curtains so that shows that how much he wants to connect with the nature and even the noise the sound that blows with the wind you know excites him because he's too lonely that nature is his only respite so these two episodes can be elaborated to give the answer the actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person with disabilities what is the kind of behavior that the person expect from the others in this question actually the answer could be uh, very much in your words so what ideas you can think of is that first is acceptance to accept people to not have any preconceived notions to not call names to the people who are physically impaired because you have to you have to empathize with them uh, you know that they must be going through a lot they are alienated just like there is a line that idiots should be living with idiots when he was uh when he was back from the hospital people said that he should uh, live with you know disabled of his kind so uh, this kind of behavior this segregation in the society on the basis of physical disabilities so this approach this attitude has to be changed will derry get back to his old seclusion or will mr lamb's brief association affect the change in the kind of life he will lead in the future certainly it will change the kind of life he's going to cha- he's going to live in the future because the way first of all the very um, immediate change that we see is that when he goes to his mother in scene number 2 he is stronger he is more determined that he even disobeys the order of his mom to not uh, go back to that man so that first change is there that he is now more determined and he knows what he wants right what gives him happiness so it's like finding his own ikigai uh right and uh, yes it will definitely change in future because that kind of uh, company that mr lamb gave him actually has given an uh, you can say an indelible imprint in his mind that is for com- compassion for him so definitely yes so how about using your imagination to suggest another ending to the bob story you can talk it out with your friends and uh, frame an answer maybe what could be a different ending could be that he is now helping people uh with physical disabilities in future or uh, he starts living in that house maybe uh so so let's discuss it you can discuss it with your friends and think about it right that will give you an a critical edge over this chapter so yes children this was a chapter i mean the play that we have covered by susan hill i feel everything was clear please leave a like give your comment and share with your friends if you have really understood the chapter well and like this video so see you in the next one very soon